Hello, I'm Casey Griswold. I'm a co-founder of the Armatic Software. Uh, and this is going to be a quick intro into our AR automation feature uh, that we call Cadences. Uh, so Cadences uh, were built to manage or help companies manage uh, the their AR processes that historically are very manual and um, you know, involve a lot of reports and, and spreadsheets, things like that. Uh, most companies are managing their AR uh, by simply generating an aging report out of their accounting system. Now, you can't really do anything in here. Right? You can't take notes. You can't share with others. So you end up dumping an aging report into Excel. Um, and then you have to go through each invoice to figure out what happened. You know, why is it passed to you? Is it on the, the customer side uh, or is it on your side? Is there some error on the invoice? Uh, and then you have to figure out what message to send. Um, you know, is this the, the first time you're going to reach out to them or is this the 10th the email that you're going to send to the customer? And then once you understand that backstory, then you could send your, your uh, standard, hey, your invoice is passed to you. Please send us a, a payment. Uh, usually it's please mail us a check. Uh, and this happens you know, over and over and over again, every day, every, every week, uh, a few times a month, depending on, on your invoice volume. Uh, what we did um, is we built um, a system that we call Cadences. Uh, that simply just allows you to make all these decisions in advance. Right? Um, so if you're familiar with sales automation tools like like outreach or just the general concept of a of an email drip campaign, kind of picture that. Um, and that's what we did. Or that's what Cadence are. It's just applied to to AR. Um, each one of these is a separate set of rules that could be assigned either at the customer level or at the invoice level. Right? So you could have uh, a set of rules set up for your customers that are on uh, automated payments, and you could have another set of rules for customers that are on net billing terms. And you could have another set for customers, maybe your largest accounts that you only want to send statements to. And you could add as many of these as you like. Um, within each cadence, you simply uh, uh, plan out your ideal process from start to finish. So. Uh, the first step in this example cadence is to deliver the invoice. So, uh, and a quick little note here, it doesn't matter if the invoice was created in an accounting system and synced over to Armatic, or if the invoice was created in Armatic uh, and then synced over to the accounting system, they're treated the same way in the, uh, the cadences. Um, this particular step here is based on uh, when the invoice is created. So anytime an invoice is created for customers assigned to my slow pairs cadence, the first step is to automatically deliver uh, this email here. Um, here's a preview of what that email will look like. You could pull in uh, placeholders like the invoice number, uh, the invoice due date, uh, customer name, uh, as well as a call to action. In this case, it's going to direct them to an online version of that invoice and opt uh, to present them with electronic payment um, uh, options. Um, here's the settings for this particular step. I could copy um, the company email address, like accounting at you know my company name, something like that. Um, I could also, if I have ownership set up, which uh, could be set up in Armatic or mapped over from Salesforce, um, I could um, you know copy account managers and, and sales reps on specific messages. Uh, this particular step is set up to go out automatically, uh, as most of our customers set up all of their early stage activities, you know, uh, up to about sixty to ninety days uh, past due. You can pretty safely automate. Um, that way, your team just doesn't have to be involved in every single one of those decisions and every customer uh, is going to receive the correct level of attention automatically without you having to do anything. Um, you could attach the invoice PDF to this message. It'll be an attachment to the email. And the email itself uh, does not come from BlueSnap. Uh, it will come from your email provider. We connect to Google Apps, uh, Microsoft Exchange, or a custom uh, SMTP server. Um, from there, if the customer pays this invoice, that's perfect, and the payment could be uh, processed in Armatic, or um, a check uh, could be recorded in your accounting system. Uh, in either fashion, once this, this invoice is paid, all of the other steps are going to be removed. Um, if it's not paid, however, it just continues on down the list. So this is a, a reminder that's going to be set up to go out a day 15 uh, after the invoice is due. Uh, this one's at day 60. Um, the content, again, is fully customizable as well as the look and feel of this, uh, this email itself. You could add tables and images and links and videos. We even give you access to the HTML. So you could really uh, customize the messaging to match your brand. Um, and you could add as many steps to a cadence as you like. Um, these are all the various triggers right, uh, based on uh, a customer when they're created, uh, if they update their payment information, um, the invoice itself, creation dates, due dates, expected payment dates, uh, all of that stuff is built into here. Um, you could trigger messages based on the oldest invoice, which is great for larger accounts that might have uh, multiple invoices open at any one time. Uh, we could trigger statements to go out on a specific day of the month. Um, we could trigger messages if the payment has failed, uh, which is really helpful if you have customers on auto pay. You can say, hey, your credit card declined. Click here to update uh, uh, a new one. 
you could also choose how the message is communicated. So uh, email, uh, of course, um, but we could also send text messages uh, either from uh, you know, a, a new number or from a custom number that you already have. Uh, we could send out physical mail. So for those customers that just really want their invoice uh, uh, in the mail or printed, um, we can print, stamp, and mail uh, invoices, uh, collection notices, statements, things like that. Uh, we could remind someone on the team to call them. Um, so this is not an automatic call. This is a reminder task. Um, that would, <clears throat> excuse me, a reminder task uh, that someone would would uh, be reminded that oh hey at day. 60 past due you wanted to call the customer and and ask you know about this and confirm you know their account number things like that uh, we could also kick off an internal escalation so this would be uh, a email that is not going to uh, the customer but to uh, a specific address typically someone on your team like, hey stop working on that account they haven't paid their invoice um, and again you could add as many you know of these steps uh, at, to your cadence as you like depending on which step you choose um, there's uh, you know, different uh, options available in terms of you know, the number of days from the event. Uh, you are limited to um, four characters. So after 999 days, you're, you're on your own. Uh, from there, once the invoice is customized, um, you would um, create a cadence assignment rule to assign these cadences to the customers or types of invoices that should pick up or should follow that, that workflow. So for example, you could say, all right, uh, any invoice that looks like this, uh, any invoice um, that uh, the balance is greater than, um, than $10,000, well, then that invoice should follow uh, this cadence, uh, the rules associated with this cadence. Uh, um, or any customer, uh, go back here, any customer, Right, that was uh, you know created uh, after this date, or or has a payment method on file, or is set up for automatic payments. I mean, there's multiple options you could choose from. Uh, um, if uh, auto pay is set to enabled, then uh, and their balance uh, is less than this, put them on this cadence. So you could create these rules, which will automatically move customers and invoices to the proper workflow, so they'll receive the communication in, uh, associated with that workflow. Uh, and then from there, once your workflows are assigned, the cadences are going to create all your tasks uh, for you. So um, all of the, the communication, whether it's set up to go out automatically um, or to uh, require an approval, uh, is going to uh, show up here in your to-do list. So basically what you end up doing is managing the exceptions instead of your whole AR process. All right, so you'll see, all right, for this particular customer, for this invoice, uh, here's the communication that's supposed to go to them, you could customize it, you could change the recipients around, you could add additional recipients, you could change the, the subject or uh, the message content um, or the, the message format. So you have all of these options in here. And if this message needs to be sent, uh, you simply approve it. If not, you cancel it. Um, so that's cadences in a nutshell. Uh, the end result, the combination of additional payment interfaces, uh, automating uh, the steps that you don't need to be involved in, um, reminding you of the steps that you wanted to be involved in. The end result is it has a, a drastic impact on the amount of time, effort, and resources required to effectively manage your AR.